everybody, Lexenda Swirl here. We are going to do another pick a paint project. <clears throat> and before I start picking paints, this is my dark bag. Um, I wanted to prove that we actually have things other than red and brown in these bags. We, I. I mean, here's a green right here on top. Here's a blue, here's a purple. There's a pink. Another green, and there are other colors in these bags except brown and red. I just apparently am incapable of picking them when I'm not looking. We're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna, we're gonna give it another shot. I have the bag closed. I promise I'm looking away. Here's our first color. <laughs> Rose Matter, it says. So, another Red, brown. Oh yeah, that's a very red color. Okay, great. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Dark color number two, looking away. Come on. Oh yay, a purple, thank goodness. Mauve pale. Okay. Looking away, taking the paint. Oh, crap, carmine red. That was going to be a red painting. Oh, <laughs> it just seemed like such a good idea when I first saw it. Okay. Last one from the dark bag. Taking a color, looking away. Please, please, please. Oh, yeah, you're green. Mid green. This is a nice green. There we go. Pretty green. Okay, those are our four colors from the dark bag. Here we have our light bag, and just to prove to you that I'm not, I'm not intentionally swaying this. Look, there's a pink, there's another pinky purple, blue, green. I mean, they're in here. I swear they're in here. Okay, this is the light bag. Put my hand. I'm looking away. First color. Oh gosh, raw sienna. Oh golly. Okay. Oh, yay! Pearl Rose Quartz. Oh, goody, goody, goody. Oh, pretty. Pink. Alrighty. Color number three from the light bag. Here we go. Mm -hmm. This is Pearl... Whoa. Pearl Amaranth Red. Oh, yay. Okay, maybe a peachy. Not too horrible. One more. Come on, blue. Looking away. Making it fair. All right. Pearl lilac. Well, all right. Okay, so this painting is going to be a little on the purple side. That's all right with me. We have our lights. Pearl lilac, pearl rose quartz. Oh, you can't see. Sorry. Pearl lilac, rose quartz. Pearl Amaranth Red and Raw Sienna. It's another mustard light brown. Okay. Fabulous. Those are our lights. And our darks are Mid Green, Mauve Pale, Rose Matter, and Carmine Red. Okay. I'm going to mix these up. I'm going to mix them up two to one. Flow Troll to paint because we're going to do a pour through. And we'll meet back here when they've had some time to settle and release all their bubbles and get happy with the flow trawl. See you in a bit. Hey everybody, looks into swirl here. We are back to do our pick a paint pour. Uh, I just wanted to show you the colors now that they've been mixed up and they've sat, they've actually sat for a couple days. <laughs> like, I got sidetracked with something else. Uh, so we'll run through the colors real quick, then layer a cup, then do our pour. As you might recall, we have two reds in this one and a super ugly brown, in my opinion. Super ugly brown, in my opinion. Super ugly, in my opinion. <laughs> um, so here's what we have. This is, these are all Arteza paints picked from our lights and our darks bags. Uh, this is mid green. This is mauve pale whoops this is rose matter which is 
actually kind of pretty. It's got a darkish pink undertone to it, kind of, sort of. This is Carmine Red, which is about as red as red can get. Uh, and again, my opinion, this is, what is this? Pearl Amaranth. This, and this one is Pearl Lilac here. Very pretty. Very pretty. Uh, this is raw sienna. Ugh. And <laughs> this is, oh boy, Pearl Rose Quartz. Another very pretty pink. So I will ditch those and move them aside and flip my canvas over. This is a 12 by 12 canvas from Michaels, I think. Okay, we have our 10 ounce bowl. We need nine point, say 9.5. I think it's a little less. It's probably 9.25, but we'll go for minimum of nine and a half. I may just fill the bowl, bowl up, which is 10 ounces, and that'll be that. Um, I think, because I'm so not in like with this raw sienna color, I may use it around the corners and edges as a flow base paint and not, hopefully then it won't end up in the finished painting. <laughs> so I'm just going to work with what's left. That's part of my rule that I can pick my base color. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, and the pour, sorry. And then uh, once we have our layered cup, we are going to pour through this French fry basket. Uh, I found this, it, it came in a two pack, two of these for less than a dollar at the grocery store. So I thought, well, that's fun. I think Mixed Media Girl did this with a dollar store version, probably the exact same basket uh, design. And uh, as I recall, because this has a lip on it here, if the, the paint's poured here, it'll just sit there. So. She basically just poured around the outside of the bottom to get the, uh, the pattern. So that's what we'll do, too. All right, here we go, let's layer. All right, let's move our layered cup aside carefully. And move our paints. And here we go.
Let's give it a second to flow through. place to put this. <laughs> Ooh, that's interesting. Okay. And now we tilt. Sure, my corners are covered. Looks like we have pretty good coverage, all in all. Okay, I think I'm going to torch. There is a lot of flow trial in here. I do see some cells, so let's see what happens when I torch real quick. I do see air bubbles. stuff happening over here. All right, tell you what, let's give it a couple minutes, see if anything further develops, and then we'll go in for a close-up. Be right back. Okay, here is the lower left corner. Up the left-hand side, very, very Christmassy. Uh, but then we get some purple, actually mauve pale. Looks like purple. There is the upper left corner all across the top. Very, very pretty. Upper right corner and down the right hand side. to the lower right corner, across the bottom, and then back up for the whole thing. I'll try and get in frame and focused. There we go. Okay. Thanks everyone. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.